Sub dude and dudettes, this is Froggy 2K9. And today is What If Wednesday, and as you can see, Versdurf has supplied us with the, with the idea. What if Call of Duty never existed? Well, let's let's take that idea into account quickly. Okay, so what what is Call of Duty affected? Call of Duty has definitely immediately affected YouTube. YouTube is one of the biggest things Call of Duty has affected. Another thing that's affected? Battlefield. I know uh, there's going to be haters out there that are going to be like, Call of Duty never affected Battlefield. Yes, it did. And I'll explain to you why in a minute. What else has it affected? Let's see. Um, Call of Duty is the... Is the... Uh, uh, how would you call it? The... Uh, I don't know what you call it. Sorry. I've just... I just hit a brain fart. Anyway, it's the way it's one on from. God damn it, Guitar Hero. That's that's the game I'm thinking of, Guitar Hero. It's one on from Guitar Hero. So what what happened is, Activision run Guitar Hero into the ground. They pushed and pushed and pushed for games as quick as possible. They pushed out games. They didn't make any big changes. They pushed out practically the same game every single time Guitar Hero was released, just different songs, and eventually they got to the point where they weren't even good songs. So many, 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 many people just decided to stop using it, stop playing it, and Activision run it into the ground. And I just saved this guy's AC-130. You should see it. I save it quite a bit throughout here. Anyway, so... If it wasn't Call of Duty, I, I can guarantee you it would have been another game. They would have found a good formula, because what happened was, they found Guitar Hero to be a good formula. So they decided to act on it, see if the second one gave it any hype, if, see if it got better. And then they realized that Guitar Hero was not just a good formula, it was a winning formula. So they run it. And they run it, and they run it, and it just it ran into the ground. Basically, it just it just died. Call of Duty is the same. It's going to be run into the ground very quickly. They were lucky. It's lasted as long as it has. I doubt it's going to last too much longer if they don't make some serious changes soon. Activision are going to run Call of Duty into the ground as well because it's Activision doing it. It's not Treyarch. It's not Infinity Ward because. Because Activision decided to act on it and make it last longer, they had to bring in another company if they were going to push out as many games as they wanted to push out. They had to bring Treyarch into the play if they were going to push out those games. There was no chance that Activision would survive, or sorry, Call of Duty would survive, if it was just Infinity Ward pushing out those games. So, they were lucky they brought Treyarch in. It was luck. That wasn't skill, that wasn't their skill. They they, they lucked out, basically, because Treyarch, new development team, are they going to be good, are they not going to be good? If they are bad, it, it could possibly destroy Call of Duty, so they lucked out quite a bit here. Anyway, looking on to a much wider perspective onto YouTube, looking at Machinima as a big one, would be a channel that would not be around today or would be less than half the size. I reckon it would be 25% of what it is today. You know, today it has like hundreds of commentators. Uh, I think it's nearly a thousand directors or something, or something stupid like that. It's, it's a lot of people to do with Machinima because they have the partnership program which is separate to the director's program and the director's program is huge already. So, you know, Machinima is pretty damn big. And that's all thanks to Call of Duty, or majority thanks to Call of Duty, like 98% Call of Duty is the reasons for Machine and Brain being as big as it is. So, YouTube as a general, there are hundreds of directors of Machinima, but there are thousands of YouTubers out there. And YouTube would not be what it is today, it, it wouldn't. You know, Minecraft wouldn't be as big today if it wasn't for the fact that Call of Duty increased the size of YouTube. Then when when Minecraft came around to be to become part of YouTube, 
then Minecraft wouldn't be as big because there were a lot of Call of Duty players that went over to Minecraft producing advertisement, free advertisement for Minecraft. This is a reason that they'll never shut YouTube down. They won't go after YouTube with big lawsuits because the companies know if they do, they are going to lose one of the biggest or the biggest industries of advertisement there is out there today. There is none bigger than YouTube. YouTube is the biggest form of advertisement. I believe more people I believe more people will um, more people will buy Call of Duty and watch YouTube than go to a blockbuster movie. You know, it's it's kinda like that deal. So you ain't gonna see YouTube go down anytime soon. You know, it's only if a director does something or a partner does something stupid like uploads copyrighted copyrighted stuff that's really, really heavily copyrighted and the company just like Bro, no. We're gonna sue you. So it's it, that's only happens like that, so YouTube wouldn't be as big as it is today as one of them. Now I said Battlefield earlier. Battlefield wouldn't be as big. And I just heard the grinding of the teeth of a bunch of Battlefield fans. Yeah, I heard that through the internet before I've even uploaded the video. I can hear it. You know, to say that it doesn't affect it is wrong because Battlefield is heavily affected by Call of Duty. You know, if, as I said, it's like Minecraft. If Call of Duty didn't make YouTube bigger in the first place, Battlefield wouldn't have had such an advertisement or such a fan base that it does today because a lot of its fan base are from YouTube. People have seen Battlefield videos and they've gone, look at that, I like that, look at that game. You know, so Call of Duty is a heavy influence, especially advertisement wise. Now, with advertisement in mind, you know, most of Battlefield got its ideas from Call of Duty. The campaign is an almost copy and paste of the Black Ops campaign. I didn't even finish it because I got fed up of being back in that chair and thinking I'm in Black Ops right now. Well no wait a minute I'm in Battlefield. So I start playing the campaign about halfway through. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna finish it eventually but not today. As far as it goes they got their advertisement campaign, their pictures, ideas. I mean, look at look at like the Call of Duty stuff, look at the Counter Strike stuff, and then look at the Battlefield stuff. They're all pretty similar because they're all working towards that winning formula, and that winning winning formula is what Call of Duty and Battlefield have today. So they will survive. This has been Froggy. This has been Froggy 2K9. Please leave your what ifs in the comments. Thank you.